Chapter 1. Operations and Productivity Learning Objectives After this unit, you should understand the definition of operations and productivity while considering both product and service operations. You should also be able to measure productivity within an operation. Operation management considers the transformation of inputs into outputs. Inputs include material, labor, and capital, while outputs include the goods and services provided to customers. Examples of operations are shown here. What examples come to mind to you? What operations are included in your current organization? Operations are typically associated with a single organization, while the supply chain constitutes the end-to-end -end process to deliver services and goods. The supply chain starts with material and component suppliers and proceeds through the distribution channel, ultimately ending with the consumer interface where goods and services are delivered. Here's an example of a supply chain. For computers, components are added to circuit boards, which are then assembled into the completed product. The computer makes its way to the customer via the distributor and finally the retailer. Think of Best Buy, for example. Various services are defined here. This class, for example, might be considered to be a service. Physical goods are defined here. It must be noted that there are few pure goods or services. If you buy a car, for example, only a portion of the staff works on the actual vehicle. Other employees are involved with purchasing, sales, marketing, financing, and vehicle repair. These are all services. Conversely, with a service like a restaurant, goods are also used to create customer value. This would include food, tables, chairs, and kitchen equipment, for example. Various characteristics of goods and services are listed here. Notice the similarities and differences. Inventory presents one of the clear differences. You can store baked bread, but it's difficult to store services. For example, I can't save up haircuts until needed at a later date. This graph supports the earlier statement that there are few pure goods or services. When you see various goods and services falling along that spectrum. Here we can see the evolution of three sectors of the U.S. economy. Note the growth in services versus the decline in agriculture and manufacturing. Productivity is a measure of process performance. As you improve a process, productivity should increase. Productivity is defined as the ratio of the effort required to create a certain output. This may be measured as labor hours per unit produced or cost per unit produced. Here's an example of productivity measured as the volume of fuel required to drive a fixed distance. Here's a more complex example, where the labor required by three separate processes is combined and then compared with the number of units produced. Productivity can be defined a number of different ways depending upon the process and the metrics available. Now a real-life business example of productivity improvement at Taco Bell. A number of improvement steps were taken, resulting in performance improvements regarding employee productivity customer response, and business volume. Here is a breakdown of the key decisions of operations management and the chapters in the text that provide content. The future of operations management has a number of challenges. The global economy includes many business opportunities while contending with widely distributed supply chains, political uncertainty, and trade issues. Other challenges include the trend towards greener solutions, rapid response, and an ever-changing workforce. As a manager, understanding operations management is essential. Operation, operations management covers a large portion of the business and accounts for a major element of cost. By now you should see that operations management affects all businesses whether producing goods or services, both private and governmental. There are a number of careers supporting operations managers. 
These roles combine technical and soft skills in order to be successful. What tasks are included in Operation Manager's Day? Here are a few examples. You'll note that developing and working with people are key elements for success. A wide range of disciplines contribute to the success of the operation. Engineering and the sciences are key contributors. As in most modern fields, operations managers are held to a high level of ethical, social, and environmental standards. Managers must balance the needs of their employees, business, and the community. When making decisions, managers must keep their stakeholders in mind. These are the internal and external people with an interest in the operation, typically customers, employees, members of the supply chain, and the greater community are included. Northern Illinois University and the College of Business consider operations manager to be an important and growing field. The OMNIS department is designed to deliver essential education on operations management. Select the link below to view a brief video on the department.